And work-wise, you're keeping ticking? Yeah, I mean, we had lots of, uh, oh, I don't know if I just should say that. <laughs> oh, I nearly let the cat out of the bag then. Um, <laughs> afternoon listen before we start please like and subscribe to us on youtube oh and like and follow us on facebook and follow us on twitter and don't forget to tweet <laughs> and of course as we know we all like to follow instagram because instagram is the poshest one really i suppose oh, because oh, I oh, oh, thank you we do have two very important news <laughs> i'm sorry to interrupt you my darling sherry well, of you, course. Know, you know how much i adore you but there is something <laughs> very important that we said on wednesday we have a competition winner who won oh, yes. a fantastic competition yes. and we would like to welcome a big Wonder Birds welcome to Jenny Perkins. Hi, Jenny. Ooh. Hi, Jenny. Hey. Jenny. Hey. Congratulations. Hey. Well done. Hey. Well done. Hey. Congratulations. This is brilliant. I, well, I'm I'm ecstatic. Have you have you are you a, do you do lots of competitions? No, no, I, I don't ever do anything. And I said to my husband. I've, I've had um, a message and he went, oh, it's probably a scam. Uh, <laughs> no, we're the truth. <laughs> we're the truth. <laughs> the and real the thing. Things. You've got... No, no, no. <laughs> we are so, we're so thrilled because... The, do, do you know the Gibbon Bridge Hotel? Have you heard about the Gibbon Bridge Hotel? It's just the yes. most beauti beautiful place. And it's beautiful. in Chitting. So it's in, the, it's in the north. I don't. Whereabouts are you based? I'm in Cardiff, in South oh, Wales. Great. Oh, great. Lovely. Well, anyway, you'll have a fantastic, you've got a fantastic midweek break there, you and your husband, because I know that he's been looking after you since you lost your mum, and I'm really sorry about that. And we he's all know what you're going through. Yeah. We do. Yes. Yeah. All and, uh, condolences to you. And I oh. also wanted to say about the wine, darling. Yeah. I, I speak from experience. It's quite good <laughs> if you drink it all at once. Um, just say. <laughs> Oh, and you know, um, Sharon Burbridge, you're going to have a reading with her. Do you yes. actually, have you had, a, have you ever had a reading? Well, I go to like, you know, when they have them in a room, but I've never really been picked on or hit on or whatever it is yeah. you say. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well. I'm really looking forward to that, yes. Yeah, yes. she's brilliant. Let's hope she gives you fabulous predictions for the future. I'm sure she will. Yes, uh, and, yes. I hope, and I hope you and your husband have a wonderful time after oh, what they've been you. through and you know and it'll be joyous to just oh. in a hotel to be honest yes, I well. but also don't forget you've got this uh, harley harley street skin clinic now well, dr to khan to yeah and dr <laughs> khan is a is a it, we all know him he i can't tell you how lovely that oh. man is and you have a mm. consultation with him and a red carpet facial so and also two hundred pounds worth of products. So, uh, but I can't tell you. You will love him. You'll fall in love with him. He might give up after he says, "A look at me." But there you go. <laughs> no, oh, darling, oh, not at all. Never. Not at all. Well, well done, Jenny. Well done. Well done. Yeah, well, well done. Well done. Send, us, ladies, send us a postcard. I will, ladies. You yes. are the tonic to my gin. I oh, said, oh, oh, thank you. Jenny, Thank take, you so much. take photos when you're there and yeah. send us the photos. Definitely. And we'll put them yes. up. Yes. We will. Or the video. Bye, Jenny. Bye. 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 Oh, what a sweet heart. I'm so thrilled she won. She's never won anything. It's wonderful. Yeah, I know. Oh. And how nice to get something that lifts your heart when terrible things happen. It's lovely. Absolutely. Lovely. Absolutely fabulous, isn't she? So, so it's Friday, girls. So we're going to dress up Friday now. I'm obviously in a glorious colour of I don't know what what colour do we call this? Do you think fuchsia? Like fuchsia, <laughs> fuchsia, fuchsia, peachy, pink, really. Yes, yeah. lovely. Yes, yeah, so, uh, yeah, so I'm uh, just bright because we've got dark clouds up here today. So I don't know what you've got, but uh, so I'm, I'm bright today. So I feel. It makes me feel better. It makes my skin feel better. It doesn't help me, but it makes my skin feel better. <laughs> so anyway, next, um, who is it now? Dee, what are you wearing, darling? Yes. You're well, very darling. funky today, aren't you? I'm very, I am funky today. 
because of the guest who is going to be coming on soon, darling. I had thought I better dress appropriately. Anyway, this hat I've done myself. myself. I put a belt. I've customised a cap, right, as one does. So I put a belt on it, right, like a leather belt with a safety pin at the back. Can I just say, <laughs> D, D, just yes. two things. First of all, the fact that that belt is your waist size, I find offensive <laughs> because it's on your head. And secondly, there's a health and safety issue with the safety pin. That's all I'm saying. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. But it doesn't stop me, darling. It doesn't no, stop I know. me. No, I know. Nothing will stop me. How can your waist be the size Nothing of your head? Nothing will stop me, That's mate. Really and what's this jacket? Tell us about the jacket. Yeah. The jacket oh. is is like a biker jacket, but it glitter, a glittery one that I got oh. in a local boutique. And I've so missed going in there. And I got it just before lockdown, so I've never worn it. So I can wear it today. Oh. Debut. So this is biker, biker. Gorgeous. It's anyway, gorgeous. It, thank you. It is so lovely. And when I walked in, it's almost like um, go, going into this shop, this local shop, is like therapy. I don't know if if you, you feel that about any of your yeah. local shops, but it's so great. And actually one day I went in and there was a girl crying in there and she said, everything's got on top of me and I can't cope. And this poor, and honestly, we all surrounded her and it was so lovely. And I've never forgotten oh. that. I thought, this is a hub, you know? It's just mm. so lovely. So I, I wanted to give the Forge in Jared's Cross, I wanted to give them a shout out actually. Oh, well, and I can't wait cool. to get back. Debbie. Debbie. Yes. Well, as you can see, I've been moving. Did you did you know that? Did you, did no you idea. Know I've never no mentioned idea. it, have I? I'm surrounded by boxes. The fact that I could even find my knickers. <laughs> anyway, I've got a pair of earrings on and a, and a top, and I I don't know where anything is, and I'm exhausted. Can I can I go to sleep? Yes, you you have a little snooze, darling. Yes. I was inspired by Debbie because she always does the glamorous earrings, which I think helps a lot. A little bit of a sparkly zhuzhi top. Um, I'm not standing up this time because you don't want to know what's down here. <laughs> anyway, no. um, more importantly, <laughs> I'm going to bring in our wonderful guest. He is a presenter. He is groundbreaking. He is a fantastic father. He's a singer. What doesn't he do? Ian H. Watkins, or H from Steps, welcome to the nest! Hey! 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 Hello! Hey! Let's all wave to you. What were you doing? <laughs> Hello, my darling. I'm well, looking at Harry's. I'm looking at Harry's TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> you are the queen of TikTok. <laughs> yeah, but darling, I've only got a few followers, and most of the TikTok viewers are between 15 and 17 years old. But you know what can you do? Yeah, um, listen, welcome to the nest, my darling. You are the most inspirational, groundbreaking man. Daddy to two amazing twins, a singer. You never stop. You're a presenter. How the hell? Well, I know how you've been coping because I luckily went on your show. But you're doing all sorts of things, aren't you, to keep yeah. going? And it's all powered by gin and tonic, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> it's, Join the club. We're living in crazy times, right? And I yeah. don't think any of us anticipated how hard this was going to be. Um, when we first heard about lockdown, um, I was I thought I'd get away with, you know, uh, crayons and paper. For <laughs> but it's not gonna cut it. So I've just had to be quite inventive. Um, and I'm, I'm quite creative anyway. Um, I see, uh, you know, a, a toilet roll and I'll turn it into a telescope, you know, so it's things like that. But then I've been crafting within an inch of my life. There's not an egg box, a toilet roll, there's nothing left in my house. But my kids <laughs> are loving it, they are. But it's hard, right? Oh, it's fabulous. And, and work-wise, you're keeping ticking. Yeah, I mean, we had lots of, uh, oh, I don't know if I just should say that. <laughs> oh, I nearly let the cat out of the bag then. Um, we had lots of things we were about to announce, literally the week of lockdown. So, oh. so literally the, the day after we locked down. So we've had to kind of button our mouths and um, sit on our plans just for a little bit. Um, but my radio show on Radio Wales has kept me going. Um, just more for my mental health, really. Otherwise, yeah, they just bleed into each other. So it's given me, you know, a little benchmark on a Saturday. So I've got that to prep for, and I do that on a Saturday. Otherwise, yeah. the days would just kind of roll into each other and just become this lockdown oblivion. So I'm I'm grateful mm. for that. A gin and tonic lockdown oh. forever. That's all <laughs> you <laughs> I'm on, I'm on Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 
I want to ask you about dancing on ice because one of the reasons is because it was obviously groundbreaking. We know that. Um, I come from Nottingham, so I trained with Torvald Dean at the Nottingham ice, the old ice rink. I mean, I'm older than them, but I do remember them being there, and they went on to do very well, I believe. Sorry. <laughs> Torville and who? I <laughs> well. Maybe he's too young. They were she amazing. Know. So tell me, you I know you must have had the most incredible time on that show. It was very emotional though, wasn't it? The whole way through. That's what I felt when I watched you. Yeah. Every single dance seemed to be very emotional for you. It was one of those, um, you know, we're very privileged, you know, what we do. We live in a beautiful little bubble. And it was one of those uh, bucket list shows that I've always wanted to do. Yeah. And I auditioned for it twice before and, you know, the stars never aligned. So it, it just never happened. You know, for me, work wise, it just didn't fit in my schedule. But suddenly everything just kind of happened and everything slotted into the right place. And I said that if you're considering me for the show, then I'd like you to um, put me with the appropriate sex for my sexuality. And they went, oh, and I heard nothing about it then. Uh, you know, and it, it wasn't a negative or oh, it was just a, oh, okay. that, yes. was a, that was, you know, we'd never thought of that. And then I got the call saying that we had the green light and I just cried because oh. for me, you know, I never had that growing up on television when I was growing up. You know, the only yeah. reference to a, a gay person when I was growing up was John Inman, Larry Grayson, you know, yeah. the stereotypical yes. gay people who yeah. are fabulous. Yeah. But I don't, I, that's not the kind of a gay person that I am. So I'm a dad now and mm -hmm. I want my children to know that there are very, very different families out there, you know? Yeah. Oh. When my it did, and, it, and it really worked, didn't it? Because the fan base that they got from it was absolutely incredible. Yeah, very and, and, and oh, you, wonderful. It was, I, I'm sure it was very hard work because it must be a very different combination two men to a man and a woman. I guess you have to rethink all the dancers and everything, but yeah. and Matt is uh, amazing, isn't he? Oh, I mean, he's incredible and so supportive and we were very much on the same page because obviously he's yes. an openly proud gamer. <clears throat> um, and people were trying to put us in a box because traditionally, um, I, I, I never use the word normal, I say traditional because there is no normal, right? In, yeah, in, yeah, yeah. So traditionally there's always a male and a female. And yeah. it just so happens that Matt is taller than I and bigger than I am. So traditionally he would take the male role. Yeah, but we did switch it up a bit. We did uh, lots of different kinds of lifts, and I think when you're the first to do something, then people will always kind of go, "Ooh, you know." Yeah. Quite Whoa, sure. some people. Yeah, I know. Yeah, they're yeah. not quite sure how to react, or that's not you know, or that's not lift. But it's not, it's not lifting on ice. It's dancing on ice. Absolutely. There's nothing yeah. in the, any of the contracts or any of the rules that say that you have to lift your partner. So you know, yeah. if, if you look at somebody, for instance, Gemma Collins, she's very openly said that, you know, Matt, Matt couldn't lift her. So it was yeah. not about the lifting, it was all about the artistry and the connection mm. and the chemistry. Yeah. And I thought Matt and I had, had that in leaps, leaps and bounds. It, it was just- You were a beautiful wonderful. Experience. But it so will amazing. go down in history, Ian. It will go down in history, that. <laughs> It your, will. your moment will go down in history as the first yep. and the most powerful moment on that dancing on ice has and will ever have, really. Well, well sorry. Sensational. Sensational. A wonder bird flutter. When, when I um, finished the dance, um, the emotion, I mean, you, if yes. you've seen the clip, you could watch it back. I literally cried. Because the, I watched you, I know every time. Oh, yes. the, the pressure I felt, and I tried not to feel the pressure, um, it was just immense. And I mean, I got through the skate without slipping or falling. Yeah. Which was paramount because if, if I had, it would have devalued everything that I was trying to achieve. Yeah. Yes, yes. And Philip and Holly and um, Tovel and Dean said, we have never felt the studio like that in or every dance and they've had thousands oh. of dances they've never felt the studio it, they you could actually you know what you could actually hear the intake of breath 
Yep. As she both came, everybody went, oh. Yep. Can you see my goosebumps? <laughs> oh, I got there you goosebumps go. as well. Just because well, they've, amazing. They've, they've witnessed history in the making on, in that two minutes. And it was. Just incredible to be part of that. So I just and you oh. honoured it completely. It was yeah. moving and so important. Thank and you. yeah, and thank you for actually saying that you wanted that because that was very, very important to all of us. Yeah. I did. I don't know if you remember. Um, about six, seven years ago, there was a a TV show called Tumble. Do you remember that? Yes. Yes. I was part of that, and it was a very much uh, gymnastics based and um, kind of strictly meets Cirque du Soleil. And we mm -hmm. did loads of incredible things. But I asked for a same-sex partner on, the, on that show and they, the BBC declined me on that show. Mm. And I wasn't sure of myself. I, I wasn't brave enough to say, because I wanted the job so much. Yeah. Yes, I mean, yes. Brave enough to go, do you know what? That's not for me. Because I wanted to learn yeah. all these incredible skills. So I let who I am take a back seat. But this time. But, it, but you know, in life, it's, it's all about it's all about timing anyway yeah, exactly it is say, you know so and this the right time it was yeah. the right time now yeah. that's and what it was on my and you know what interview, ultimate sorry oh sorry ultimate self-belief isn't it that ultimate thing of, of saying this is it now this is what i want and and i own stand in by that yeah i own who i am i'm not afraid to be my authentic self I yeah, children. I want them to know that they are respected and loved and included, whoever. Yes. That's and it. I want to put that out into the world. <clears throat> it's, that's amazing and, and well done on that. And also, I've got twin grandsons of four as well. Oh. So I think, honestly, I have to hand it to you. You're doing brilliantly because I know that my daughter and her husband <laughs> are really struggling with all the activities to keep them both, you know, as you say, um, to really active and to the sleep patterns and all the rest of it. How, you, how have you been coping with that? I mean, my children, you know, touch wood, have been uh, incredible sleepers. I've had them in a routine since they were four months. They've slept from yes. seven until eight since they were, you know, four months. Wow. Okay, you need wow. to write a book, darling, because people <laughs> need to know that. Yes. <laughs> how do you do that? But, uh, well, I, I had to. I mean, you know, I'm a single dad, so I had to, you know, just adapt a system that worked for me yeah and I, yes. thought, I, I run my house like a in military um, <laughs> <laughs> we go up we sing a song we talk about our favorite uh, part of the day and then it's lights out so they know the routine wow yeah great you are the most amazing father you, you are do on instagram is so moving and creative and present that's right and all the crafting that you do is amazing yeah, but, but the thing is, you don't, I do it because I want to obviously inspire other parents who are maybe feeling isolated yes. and exhausted. Yes. You don't have to spend loads of money to entertain your children. Yeah, that's right. Hey, 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 make binoculars. Hey, did you, you said, come from a big family yourself? What, what made you decide to become a single father? I mean, it's a very, very big step to take to become a single parent. Well, and <laughs> It was never the, the plan to be a single a dad. Um, but that's a story for another time. Um, so I guess you just have to make the best of, of a situation, don't you? So that was yes. my life plan. Um, but um, but you've always wanted children. Always, yeah. I've always um, oh. been family oriented. Um, I have two brothers, and we're super close. Um, my granddad uh, and my grandmother, all of my grandparents used to live um, not far from me. My parents lived twenty minutes away, so. Yeah, we're very big on family and uh, oh, everyone, that's everyone, wonderful it's the reason i moved back um to uh near cardiff because i had incredible relationships with all of my grandparents so i wanted my children to have that yeah of course yeah it's very 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 hard work very important. It really is hard work you know to especially in our business when you you know you get something and you have to drop everything at the last minute yeah and, have, and, you, and you, you you become this super juggling person don't you mm. you juggle this you juggle that and you have no idea how you manage to juggle it are you a good cook i'm a, an abysmal cook i'm not cook. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to love debbie then because she doesn't cook at all oh my god not at all we need lessons oh, i let my children eat very simply like me but i've i've started them on chorizo and olives that's my kind of snacky food so yeah. they, they, they kind they like i mean I'm, i could do pesto pasta that's about it oh, um, yeah, that's good. <laughs> my children grew up with something called mummy's mess 
Oh, that which, is, which is which is all which is when Daddy used to cook the night before. I used to just throw it into a pan, and it, Mummy's mess is it, they used to love that the best because it's just all the leftovers put together. So I'm oh. very very good at Mummy's mess. Oh. Okay, yeah, I know. well, there would be nothing to be left over, so there's nothing <laughs> in my house. <laughs> What, what's what's coming next that you can talk to us about? Oh, well, I've got my radio show uh, that I do on BBC Radio Wales, which is lovely. Um, but I lovely. can't really say anything. I would, you probably can guess what I want to talk about, but I can't talk about it. So that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> you, so that is that. That brings us back to you coming back. So the minute you can say something, will you come back and tell us? Come back and tell us, please. please. Yes. Absolutely. Thank you, darling. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Love you. Love you. ladies. Keep up the good work. Lots of love. Thank Bye. you. Bye. 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 Oh, wasn't that lovely? God, what oh, an lovely. Man. An inspiration. Oh, Absolutely. Because we're all single mums, but it's not. It's rare to have a dad, a single dad, yeah. yes. Twins, yes, and a job, and to keep. The, everything going like that. It's amazing. Oh, what a lovely yeah. guy. He's amazing. And his kids to bed at seven o'clock and they sleep till eight. I just, I just, I just wonder, Sherry, if it's like, you know, as mothers, we are too flappy. You know what I mean? We're sort of, oh my God, yes. I, can't do this, I can't do that. So Maybe. Much. Whereas with a, you know, with a guy like him, he's going, right, we're going to go to bed at seven, we're going to do this and that. Yes. Yes. And, yeah. and, it, and it's like military. Yeah. It's it's a more organised regime. I think Much you're better. Right. Instead of me going I, back, going, are you all right? Yeah. You really need to sleep now. Yeah, it's not so emotional. I is still it, listen. My children are adults, and I still sometimes check that they're breathing. Seriously. Yes. <laughs> what are we like? Anyway, honestly, about breathing, we Funny. have been sent some hand sanitizer. Now, as boring as this might sound, because I hate hand sanitizers. Because yeah. just to have this in your handbag is gorgeous. Because doesn't it smell lovely? Yeah, no, it really does. Oh, oh, it's I'm divine doing it now. Yeah, it's got I'm, gonna put it, I'm gonna put it on the guinea pig's hands. Uh, oh yeah, and the chihuahua. <laughs> it's really nice, won't it? So oh, this right. is now, if you go, if you go onto our website, amazingwonderbirds.com, you will see that you can get one of these hand sanitizers. They're not very expensive, but you can get a discount as well. So Yay. go to amazingwonderbirds.com. It's clinic must haves. Buy one of these, you get a mm. code, and you'll get a discount. And it's gorgeous. It's not like a normal one. It's lovely. Mm -hmm. It smells of aromatic. It's great. It's and very you can nice. Get a huge one of these. Yeah. Just checking. Thank you. Yeah, you can. So I love it. Go. Lovely. Very nice. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. Saturday. Tomorrow. Oh, yes. Saturday. 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 Give me your day, Tom, Debbie. <laughs> Listen, how excited are we to see Richard tomorrow? Oh, and what's yes. What's happening, Sherry? Well, we can't tell you, everybody, but you must tune in because we are going to ask him for some advice. And it may be it may be a little bit intimate. Mm. So join us and see what we're going to ask Richard and make him tell us things. That's it for join us tomorrow at I think you've said enough. <laughs> mm, never seen before. Have a nice Friday night. Bye. 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 Bye.